I'm going to review this lopper from Fiskars. It's the second smallest one in the Fiskars lopper series and it's about uh, 45 centimeters from one end to another exactly. If you open it up, um, it's exactly 7 centimeters from one handle to another and if you're interested in the opening angle, it's about uh, 143 degrees. If you close it, uh, it's about 16 degrees. It's also very light, it's about 500 grams. grams. <laughs> and uh, what I also like especially about this lopper is that it doesn't open up by itself very easily. No matter what you do with it, it doesn't open up, so it's very safe. This not opening up is a double-edged sword, by the way, because uh, you need a little force uh, to open it up and even more force when you close it. So it can get uh, a little tiring if you use it a long time. So at this point I want to give you a little advice how to operate this tool correctly or in a less tiring way. Um, if you hold one handle in front of your chest and pull the other handle away with your other arm, you don't, you don't need uh, quite so much force and also uh, much less force when you pull the handle back. And if your one hand gets tired, you can just use the other one. So, uh, let's put it to the test. Behind me I have here a little tree, uh, you can't call it a tree, uh, it's about 2.5 centimeters in thickness. quite easy. Okay. Let's try a bigger one. This guy, huh? It's about 3.5 centimeters in thickness. So Test it in the optimal way. Ah, not so hard. Goes quite easy. Let's try it again. Well, if it is alive, you can cut through this. Uh, quite easy. If it is dead wood, I would recommend a bigger one. <laughs> Not this way. This way. Ah, that's much easier. Let's try it again. If you try it this way, ah, you can't pull it off because you don't have the strength because you have to open up your arms very wide. So if you um, use this technique and pull with your arms towards you, it goes quite easy. And it's also not so tiring. Ah, it's, it's one again. And once again. And once again. <laughs> it's quite fun. <laughs> well, this was quite a diameter. As you can see, it fits really perfect into the Fiskars and it's about the maximum you should do. <laughs> okay, and here we go. Okay, I managed to pull it off, but it was really hard and I don't think that you would do this all the time. <laughs> but it is possible as you can see. Now let's measure this guy. Yep. 4.2 centimeters in thickness and you can even pull that one off with these cars. 
Ah, and it's dead wood, by the way. Oh, I didn't know that. Here you could, uh, can see that. Uh, let's zoom back. Yep. This was dead wood, so <laughs> because of that it was so hard. Um, yep. If, we hold, if I hold the fish cars here, yeah, that's about the 38 millimeters. This were a little. Hard, this was a little hard to pull off, and the bigger one with the 42 millimeters was really hard. So I would recommend to buy a bigger lopper if you want to cut branches like this.